So he was French, wasn't he? Yeah, sir. Dan. Yeah, he was from France. Yeah, he was a winner. He was representing France. Right, but he also, he said Israel. The Sinclair brothers remembered their dad, one of the first indigenous boxers in Canada. Here? No. Sam Sinclair, Métis, trailblazed in and out of the ring. He was only 16 when he left his home community of Slave Lake in northern Alberta to join the Canadian Army. Sinclair found his calling in sports, earning the titles of track and field champion and middleweight boxing champion. When he was sitting in the mess hall and the officers and them were on the other side of the fence, he said, who are those guys on the other side of the fence? Those are athletes and officers eating over there. Meanwhile, he had, had this mush on his plate, and he says, he had his buddy said, I'm going to go eat over there, he said to him. So just that alone pushed him to go over to the other side of the fence. And that was his whole life process, basically. He said, I was trying to get on the other side of the fence to make it better, whether it's for himself, his family, or the community. You know, this is kind of where kind of the racial divide is a little bit. They always thought... Let's put the toughest white guy up against this native guy that thinks he's tough and we'll, you know, we'll show him a lesson. And he purposely didn't knock him out, and he could have knocked him out, but he purposely didn't knock him out just because he wanted to punish him. <laughs> just to show, like, you know, you get in front of me, you know, you're going to be hurt. So he, and, and it was a lesson. So it wasn't a lesson just for him, it was a lesson for all of you to say, you know, don't underestimate us. You know, what he did or what he accomplished, you know, was, of course, not just about boxing. And so every step that he ever took in his life was based on whatever that spark was inside him. You know, boxing is just part of a, a much bigger story. And, you know, if you're looking at this from in terms of a trailblazer, I think that's a great way to describe it. He's able to find that, that little spark in an individual and open it up. Sinclair was passionate about creating pathways to sports for all youth. He coached baseball and boxing in his home community of Slave Lake and later in Hinton, Alberta, where some of his athletes went on to become competitive boxers. How often do Indigenous people get into position of being the coach? Right? There's a difference between being the athlete and being the coach because the coach carries a certain stature of leadership. Sam Sinclair spent his entire life breaking down barriers for his family, community and the Métis Nation. His fighting spirit in the boxing ring transferred into his life's work in public service, focusing on the recognition of the Métis people. Sinclair worked 25 years for the Alberta government and served as president of the Métis Nation of Alberta. When you got a struggle in front of you, you challenge that and you work yourself harder and harder till you can beat that. Do it whatever way, the best way you know how, he would say. You know, because you, you, you fight from here, right? Eh? You've got to believe in yourself. Train and be ready and be prepared and yeah. listen more than you talk. Keep a sense of humor and learn off people. Make a difference. It's things that I picked up from God that are the best thing.